So you're working a chain, they one place. Huh? They save you, the booker. Now my spirit say me can protect you. I don't know why. Only they walk any hour around here. It's the Amaran cast. Everywhere no good. But did they pepper everybody? Please look at my chain. Okay, go cool, now, make I escort you. You won't beat me. Really, Jide? I, I can't even believe this. I told you I'll be coming to my PPA today. Not even a text message from you, Jide. Hmm, okay. Horrible. Just horrible. You can't believe I just, I, I got here not less than two hours ago. If I didn't leave early. The vehicle was back. It kept stopping along the way like everything about this journey is just horrible jide you, you don't even want to understand in fact some hoodlums attacked me if not for one guy who showed up <sighs> my journey was terrible Really, Jide? This again? Really? How in the world am I complaining? Tell me! You asked a simple question and I'm giving you a simple response. Now you're saying I'm complaining. Can I even talk to my boyfriend? Like I'm just trying to explain to my boyfriend what had happened to me, how horrible my day was, how everything is going wrong in my life right now, and you're there telling me... Jide. It's late and I'm tired. Good night. Good day, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. You are the copper, right? I am, sir. Uh, Do I look that old? Oh, no. Not, not exactly, sir. It's just that it's a formal setting. So... I understand what you're trying to say, but... Anyways. My name is Sophia Nekwe. <laughs> Sophia is a lovely name for beautiful ladies like yourself thank you sir <clears throat> don't add that at my name my name is oliver so feel free to call me oliver at any time <laughs> okay sir oh yeah yeah <laughs> yes uh, better. uh your class is said uh, ss3 okay sir. oh yes i'll take it to principal's office after then I will take you to your class for proper introduction. Thank you, uh, Mr. Oliver. Vera. <laughs> yes. yes, Mr. Oliver. Can I 
cross it. <laughs> we all know that uh, we were promised a copper. A copper that would take us on English and literature. And she is the chosen one. Can somebody please clap for her? <laughs> so, okay. I will allow her to introduce herself. Shall you? Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, Miss. My name is Sophia Anikwe. I'm from River State. And I'm here to teach you English and literature. I hope we have a fantastic time learning together. Yes, yes, Mrs. Yes. 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 All right. Can somebody. And what were we supposed to say? Yes. Thank you. So I want you to all give her maximum attention and respect. All right? And who is that fool that is strolling into this class? As if he is walking into his father's living room. Turn. Turn, let me see you, young man. So finally, you decided to resume class. And this day, you can go to your seat. Your seat. Um, uh, as no? please don't allow this one to bother you. He is as good as God. I would like you to pay attention when you listen for him. And class. I will leave you to enjoy your new teacher. Eh? What did I say? Maximum respect and attention. Thank you. Adamado, I know well, but not only you could kill me. Yes. Make you kill me now, now. No love, I can't breathe, but not only you could save me. So please, can I appreciate it? You have not this is so Rub that in here, it's great. It's a lot to look. Don't be in the middle of the before. Why are you looking at the biscuit today? You're not going to eat them before. Look at that now. What do you want by yourself? Drink this cookie. What's the best way to talk to the drink? What do you get? What do you get? Come on, come on. Huh? I'm big man, use this one. Need that there. I say need that here. Good job. No, no, say go bring things. In the middle, not bring. Every day they bring. I say stay there. My baptized church, no message. You should be able to move like that. I say stay there. I'm very, very stupid. Why do you bring things? Thank you, sir. Why do you bring things? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Tomorrow, bring fire as a chicken. They hear me. I don't want fire to go to the program. Tomorrow, bring fire as a chicken. They hear me. Yes, yes, the baby is okay. We're going to let the baby is okay. Stop! Crazy, bro. Do you want to do the baby's feet? How about one girl food? Who is it? Simon. Who is it? Simon Marisa. But 
Sharing your biscuits with a polo student. It is not bad. You know, Bible said divas never lack. Because you have given, you will never lack. Say amen. Um, but, sir, see what, but what? But what? Are you, are you trying to tell me that all these things I'm saying does not make sense to you? Are you for real? Listen. I just told you that you 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 fulfill a version of the Bible and you're not happy. I was busy when you came to my office with this, 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 and I don't like it. I'm very busy. When such a thing come up again, you make sure you handle it yourself. Eh? It's not everything that comes up you run to, to Oliver. Oliver. Oliver doesn't pay attention to nonsense. This is biblical fulfillment. So rejoice. Alright? So just enjoy it. It's what and praise God that you are fulfilling. You have fulfilled a version of the Bible. To my office. Shut up. In my office. Excuse me, Lucas. Well, um. Uh, are you the same person from yesterday, Odogu? Anyway, I truly want to thank you for walking me home safely. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Is he disturbing you? Is he disturbing you already so that I will show him the stuff I am made of? No, 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 not at all. No, he's not. That boy is notorious, useless, and shameless. His mates are all are, are all done with their uh, university education, and yet he's still here, not even bothered. I don't blame him. I blame the school for accepting him into the school. It is no money they wanted. And his father. Oh, poor man. I even heard that it is because of his father that he's still coming to school. Yet he doesn't want to improve. So shameless. Uh, it, it, it's okay, sir. I'll just get my bag and I'll, I'll be leaving. I want to go home. Thank you. I am not on your own. I don't understand. What do you mean? I mean, you should join me so that I'll, I can pay for your way home. I'll, I'll take oh, you home. Oh, no, there will be no need for that. Thank you so much. It's fine. Thank you. Uh, but I insist. And I insist. I can go alone. Thank you. Calling to apologize or to claim rights, telling me you I misunderstood you. I am sorry. Just you know that I hate fighting with you, please. <sighs> it's okay. Okay, so how are you? I'm 
time. I should really make our time and come and see you in that village. That would be nice. I love that. I will fix I will fix it somewhere in my plan. Really? Okay. <laughs> I'll be waiting. Babe, listen. This is the way I'm reading, eh? You need to see the way the guy was. <laughs> Babe, can I call you back? I have an email I have to reply to right now, please. That's fine. Class, what is written on the board? Syntax. What? Syntax. Good. So who can tell me what syntax? The definition of syntax. What the hell is going on? Lucas, can you drop your feet on the floor? See. My teacher you be, nobody you get this school. My teacher you be, nobody you get this school. So, so you're gonna change. This is a classroom. Drop your feet. Sit properly. So now you want to tell me I want to take seat now. As my mama. Now you want to tell me as I want to take the See, if you yarn about that finish, very come up. Okay. Do as you wish. Tell me. What is syntax? She waiting. I don't know. I don't know. What do you mean by syntax? I never said Cynthia. I said syntax. I don't send Cynthia. I don't send tax. I don't send all of them. What do you mean by all the I don't know. Ah. Let me go to the user side of school. Moving forward. Okay, evening. The word syntax it simply means the arrangement of words or phrases that creates well formed sentence in a language. Clap for her. <laughs> Clap properly for her. I hope you all heard what she said. Yes. Yes. Lucas, I need you to come to the office later. I will give you an assignment. Is that clear? So class, I need you all to study on syntax. Because I'll be asking you questions on it. Is that clear? Yes, yes Mr. Lucas. Lucas? Come, why are you answer that question? Real box. Why are you answer that question now? Come here. The assignment. I know Ronam. Why? I know Sabia. But that's exactly why it's called an assignment. Yes. You're supposed to give it to someone who knows about it, then the person helps you. As simple as that. Okay, ma. Look! 
workers. actually said this the last time and you never called back i will call back for sure this time around please just give me a sec uh, please okay Okara says, Africa, my Africa, Africa of proud warriors in ancestral Savannah, Africa of whom my grandmother sings on the banks of the distant river. <laughs> I think we should stop here for today. Thank you. <laughs> you can all go home today. <laughs> Can I have the assignment? I don't want. Why? Why didn't you do it? Nobody's a beer. You're trying to tell me no one knew the parts of speech? Mm. And I rather would the best me be say, if you won't give assignment, give everybody assignment, run and general. Don't be only me there this school, I'll be this class. You get beef. I don't like as they behave, you can just leave everybody. Call me, they give me assignment one on one. What happened now? Give general, not give me one on one assignment. Yeah, you get problem. No, no, don't get it wrong. See, Lucas, you. You, you, you is special student. I, I'm just, I'm just trying to help you. Before you help people, ask them whether they need help. May you not know, go to help who don't need help. No, this way you did for this school now. I don't go back from this and say, see, teacher, I need help. Then you no know, go to help who don't need help. I don't send anybody. I don't even send myself. I don't even use Miro. I don't want to see how I look. So no one to tell me say you won't help me. I don't need your help. They on your own. Make I do on my own. Everybody go do all right. I want for you. Follow me. No help me. What's your help? I will deal with any student 
that decide to go against the do's and don'ts of this school. Especially you. I will do it all right. Until you regain your, your African sense. You see now you heard the sound of the bell. Don't you know that whenever you hear bagam, 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 it means that the break is over. You should be heading to your classes. But you, you, you and you will never do such. You have decided to be violating rules of this noble school. And I won't take it. And as for you, that is like football. I will use you to set an example in this school. When I am done with you, you will be taller than me. Rubbish. I won't take it. And it's clear that the princess to adhere to his instructions of this noble school will be thoroughly dealt with. And as for you, we'll be leaning down here until the school is over today. That is your punishment. And as for all of you that are seated here, the best thing to do for yourself is to adhere to do's and don'ts. Lucas, why are you just walking into the class now? Why? How will they concern you? Why you give me the money while I go to shop for break now? I've been here to pay my school fees. Don't provoke me over the day to Lucas, did you just ask me how you take concern me? Me? Me that is your teacher? Be Oliver. You won't use me. Eh? What do you concern you now? I don't want you to follow go. I yeah, if you know, if I if I reason you, you know, we do, we do. Get the soap now. Yeah, come up to sit. Go, go and sit down. Zero zero one. Come, on. come there. Zero zero one. Zero zero. My soul. Zero zero one. See, I may be sent, aka sent Lucas. Not the used people shy. Now teacher, you be not be governor. Ordinary position where they give you, see as you don't treat people. If you come to governor, we'll see. Do you work in a chair? Do you work in a chair now, you saw? Look at that, you are aware that you have just insulted a noble teacher of this noble school. How can you do such a thing in my presence? Don't you know that is true? And I will not take it from you. If I reason you, I will do it. What? My glass! Lucas! You will hear from me! You will hear from me! Me, my glasses. So let's start from Uda. 
The new copper. Yes, but how did you? <laughs> this is a very small place. Almost everyone knows everyone. Right. <laughs> I've heard a lot about you. I've... Okay, but I don't quite know who I am. I'm at the honor. Father to Lucas. Oh, nice to meet you, sir. So, what's do you think about my son? <sighs> well, if you're talking about school, then I think I, I don't see him as someone who is quite interested in school, I'm sorry to say. You see, he has not always been like that. Since the death of his mother, it has really had a lot on him. I was about coming to the school to see you. Because uh, rumors have it you are interested in him. Anyways, if there is anything in this world you can do to bring him back, I want you to consider this as a request coming from a helpless father. Please, help me bring him back. Um, I'm truly sorry, sir. Well, I don't think there's anything I can do for him. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, I, I, I think it's his choice to make. Not mine and not yours either. I'm sorry. Some days ago, when I woke up in the night to ease myself, I saw him studying his book in the night. This hasn't happened for a very long time. And I can see it's because of your influence on him. So I'm appealing to you to help me try to bring him back. I don't want you to let him go. Not so soon. Wait. What did you see him studying? Parts of speech. Wow. It's okay. Uh, that's fine. I'll, I'll see what I can do from this point. 
It's, it's fine, sir. It's okay. It's all right. Yes. Be a good girl. Thank you, sir. Maybe more than that. It's okay, sir. Nice to meet you, sir. Bye, sir. to write whichever topic in English language you're having any problems, okay? So we can iron them out together. Do you understand? Yes, Miss Sophia. Good. And if any one of you fail to write out anything, I would assume you know everything and expect to answer my questions when I ask. Is that clear? Yes, Mr. Good. I... I mean... I'm just... I would expect everyone to turn in something. Uh, that will be all for now. Thank you. Jide, what's really going on? It's been two days and I've not heard from you. I know, I know, babes. I've just been so busy lately. So busy that you cannot even keep in touch? You eat three times daily. Don't you take your bath? I don't understand, Jide. What is happening? Is there someone else? Don't be ridiculous. You and I both know there's no one else. At this point, I don't know. I don't. I'm sorry, babe. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm just... Um, there's a lot going on at the company right now. I will get it over as soon as possible, okay? I promise. Alright. So, tell me, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm just... There's a student I'm trying to, I'm trying to help. I just don't know what to do at this point. See, it's just service. You shouldn't kill yourself over those children. I will send some money. See, take yourself out. Though I'm not sure if they're a nice spot over there, but you would know since you wanted to be there anyway. Okay? I'm sure you figure something out, yeah? <laughs> okay. You're so beautiful. We'll be talking about closed poetry and open poetry. Now, in poetry, you can either do it as closed or open. What do I mean by closed or open? Now, closed poetry is a tiny kind of poetry, but when it comes to the open, it has to do with three verses. Look at Let me have it. Your assignment. Now. 
<sighs> See me outside. Now. I'll be right back, class. <laughs> I have to. I have to. I have to. I I have to. I I to. I I I to. I I I I Yet you didn't do my assignment. How will they concern you now? No, how will they concern you? Why you buy the matter now? Like say you buy a like career for him. Did you just say it's none of my business? Before. Oh. See. Don't they stress me. Oh. They hear me so. Do like other teachers, don't send me. Pretend I don't exist. Me say I don't see you normally. So last night everybody go do alright. Don't they put high for my life. Ah. I am not like other teachers. Trust me, you are never going to get me off your skin. Except you do my assignment. I am not going to allow you. As soon now. No, tell me now who you do is the command me. My mama is waiting. Lucas, why are you here? Why the hell are you in this school if you're not ready to learn, Lucas? I can't play football. Lucas, you will not be able to get me off your skin. Except you sit up. Is that clear? Je, my mama, I don't see him now. See, make I tell you, as you see me so, I don't send anybody. I don't even send myself. I don't look, I see, I don't get me, I don't see me, I don't know what to see how I look. So don't call here the phone with you, I don't know for my matter. Ah! ah. I'm not going to do that assignment. If you think I'm going to do that assignment, eh? see, you don't waste your time. Don't be going to tell me what I will do. Really? Yes, sir. No, I don't think so, young man. You will do that assignment, except you want me to report you and your friends for what you did to me the other day. We don't do you anything, no. Me and my cartel, no do you and no go there. We don't do you anything. Says who? It's your word against mine. And I hear... The punishment for rape in this village is life imprisonment. Would you really like to spend the rest of your life in that horrible place? Nobody will believe you. Nobody will believe you. So calm down. I hear the Igwe's um, cell is quite horrible. And you will not want you and your friends to rot there, would you? Lucas, don't forget, I'm a youth copper, and the government could get involved. Now, I want that assignment first thing tomorrow morning on my desk. I'll be waiting. Bada -bada. I know where I look, but not only you could kill me, so make it kill me now, now. No life, I can't breathe, but not only you could save me, so make it save me now, now. Thank God for the butterfly, you know they bite like a sense of fly, look what you've done to me, pretty teacher. Thank God for the butterfly, yo. you know they bite like a sassy fly, yo. look what you've done to me, sexy teacher, tease me, tease me, oh, uh, you bring your best to me. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, How was it? It was very well, thank you, Mr. Olga. Um, I saw you earlier with Lucas. Did he do anything so that I can turn him immediately? Oh, not at all. Everything is fine. Thank you. Yeah, it's all right. Um, 
I want to go home now. I changed. I want to go to chop chop Bobby Joint. And I know you will like it. I just needed to tell you welcome to my to my village. To our school. I don't know if you appreciate it. Call me. Mr. Oliver. Yes, my dear. Um thanks for now, but I'll pass. Fine. Thank you. Sorry? I I, I didn't get it. Mr. Oliver. I said no for now. Okay? Uh, 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 my lady, please say uh, you no. Know, behind every no, there is yes. I would prefer if you will bring yes forward and allow no to be behind. Yeah? Have a nice day, Mr. Oliver. <laughs> where I can get this call sheet. I need to see Lucas's results. I mean, from the time he came into this school. Oh, oh Lucas. Uh, that guy, that Lucas, a student, is a donor. You don't need to see his result. Otherwise, it will mess your day up. Mr. Oliver, I just need to check something. Uh, 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 that's the problem. Um, it is. Hey! Come back, friend. Come back, my friend. Don't you have respect? Stalking very well. Stalking properly as a student and also work like a student. What happened to your respect? Butter it up. Walk like a student. Um, if you insist, come with me. Can I join you? Listen, I wasn't so bright when I was in school. I didn't understand what anyone was saying, let alone what the teacher taught. Everyone ruled me out. Nobody cared. Then, Mrs. Ozoemena was transferred to our school. I, I don't know why she picked an interest in me, but she did. Then, she started teaching me during our break time, after classes. And before long, I could understand everything. Before long, I was better than most of my peers. And that's because someone took a step further with me. So you believe, say, if you call me, I hear all this up at a finish now. Out of pity, I believe, say, we get similar story. My account, the... My brother, I don't know. I don't know. We know they are like... 
are two different people now. How do they talk? Wow. I see that now. We are nothing alike. I actually thought we were. And that's the reason why I am trying to help. Someone did something memorable for me. And I'm paying it forward by returning that favor to you. I'm extending it to you. Listen, Lucas. I'm not giving up on you. I'll do my best to help you. And I'm here whenever you want to talk. Wait. Sit. On a normal, I'll be like this a day. I've been going to present our school internationally for one competition. I win. Fall back. But before I fall back, something happened. I don't meet my mama. My mom she died. Oh my god. And now she carried me go drop for park before I go that job. As I fall back, I hear say as she dropped me, they go back, she get accident. So sorry. How do you go talk now? Since that time, eh? Body they pepper me. Body they pepper me because I let you say I me kill my mama. I me kill her now because if you say I don't go to that competition, she follow that. No, down. no, you did not kill her. How do you go talk now? Since that time, me and my posse, we say no, we come villa. We come villa still, everywhere no good. If I don't read and they remember my mama. If I don't do anything and they remember my mama. Anything I won't do. Since my mama died, I lose their life, no balance. So nobody said that's why they behave normally. Now that my mom is dead, eh? They turn everything upside down. Till now I never get myself. My mom is in my backbone now. Woman of wisdom. Very prayerful. She supports me. She they follow me up. She they package me. Since when she go down, me I miss direction. I don't want to give you. So I want to stop with that. Lucas, it's not your fault your mother died. Not my fault. If you say she don't drop me, she don't get us dead. Let me kill her now. Lucas, your mother is dead and there is nothing you can do about it. But there is someone who is alive, who is betting on you, who is hoping and praying for you on a day-to-day -day basis. Besides, He's not getting any younger. Listen to me carefully. If anything happens to your father because he's worried and scared for you, then that is the person you have killed. I learned you, you came back to school because of him. Why not do it properly? Why not just change totally because of him? Or you think your, your mother, if she were to be alive, would, would be happy seeing this version of you? Tell me. This is not the version you want your mother to know. And trust me, she's looking at you from up above. Lucas. Remember, your mother died, but she hasn't left you. She is still watching over you. And your father is hoping on you. Have that at the back of your mind. Try to change properly. And I'm here to support you whenever you want. Okay? I know where I look, but not only with the so make it kill me now, now No life, I can't breathe But not only you can save me So make you save me now, now Thank God for the butterfly, yeah. You know they bite like a sexy fly, yeah. Look what you've done to me, pretty teacher Thank God for the butterfly, yeah. You know they bite like a sexy fly who? Who? Who is there? Tease me, tease me. 
aka Saint Lucas. You who? Saint Lucas. Oh. Lucas, what are you doing here? Are you okay? Everywhere good, calm down. See, now there's on that tape where you play me. A bum reasoning. You don't understand. You talk well. Mm, you talk well. I'm I'm glad. But, but in as well. No! So, yeah. In as much as I would like this conversation to go on. I think it's quite late and it's not entirely proper for you to be here. So please just go. I'll talk to you tomorrow in school. Your room, Chuk. Yes, simple. Just be simple like that. See, I've been shaking. I'm very good. Bye, yeah. I want tomorrow. All right. Goodbye, Lucas. Lucas! Look! Uh, Miss Oliver. Hmm? I saw Lucas on my way in. Uh, yes. Um, he actually came to turn in an assignment. This late? Mr. Oliver, what are you doing here? Uh, I made a gacha. And I thought that giving you part of it we go where yeah. thanks for the thought but I don't want it eh? I don't want it thank you eh, 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 are you trying to tell me that you will reject this after all the stress <sighs> thank you Mr. Oliver eh, thank you for Good night, Mr. Oliver. Please, finish it. Good night, Mr. Oliver. Good night. Look what you've done to me, pretty teacher. Thank God for the butterfly. You know they bite like a sister fly. Look what you've done to me, sexy teacher. Tease me, tease me. Oh, uh, you bring the best of me. Relative clause now. Let's try that in English, please. Relative clause, which is also known as adjectival clauses, gives us additional information on the subject of independent clauses that they are related to. Example, who, whom, which, that. Clap for him. Lucas! 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 You keep shot. Can you define semantics? Never mind. Evelyn? Yes, ma'am. Tell us, what is semantics? Ma, it's not in our scheme of work. I think you are right. Semantics can be defined as the Look what you've done to me, pretty teacher. Thank God for the butterfly. You know they bite like a sister fly. Look what you've done to me, sexy teacher. Tease me, tease me. Oh, uh, you bring the best of me. See, I was so impressed with you today. <laughs> anyway, 
Anyways, I see you always seated here alone. Isn't it boring? No man left on my day. Can we try communicating in English? What were you trying to say? Okay. It is just that it's better than staying in the midst of children. This place is cool though. I think I should read something. What book is that? It's a novel, Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Flies. You haven't read it? Mm, I think the proper word should be reread because I've read this novel over a million times. You won't even believe it. <sighs> Have you read it? Of course, I read it when I was in Genesis 2. Yes, it's an interesting one. And my favorite character was Pig. <laughs> Pig is everyone's favorite character. Show me a person who has read this book and doesn't root for Piggy. Let's leave that. What's your favorite theme? The inherent evil in men. According to the book, men are wicked in nature. They can only be controlled by rules and regulations. So when there is law and people are abiding by it, there will be less crime. But in a situation whereby there is law and no one cares about it, Definitely, there will be a high rate of crime. So, in a nutshell, when people obey the rules and regulations, you will help keep them in check. <laughs> or better say, it will help keep them in check. What's yours? The loss of innocence. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, you know, when the kids first got to the island, they were so innocent. They couldn't even kill a pig. They... But, reading further, these kids became murderers, <laughs> savages. And towards the end of the novel, they had committed murder twice, headed towards the third. Oh, that's the break. <laughs> I enjoyed this. Then we should do this some more. Okay, okay I know what to do. Here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes, read it, and when you're done, we'll talk about it. Okay? <laughs> Thanks for coming. Women of Owo. Women of Owo. Look what you've done to me, pretty teacher. Thank God for the butterfly. You know they buy it like a sassa fly Look what you do to me Sexy teacher Tease me, tease me Oh, uh, you bring the best of me oh, You are aware that the continuous assessment for this term will be commencing next week? That's correct, ma'am. Okay. I would want you to bring your questions to my office tomorrow. Okay, ma'am, I'll, I'll do just that. And one more thing. My daughter said something about you teaching something that's outside the scheme of work. Yes, that's true. It's just that I, I thought I should, you know, give them a vast knowledge on other things instead of restricting them to the scheme of work. Are you aware that the body that formulated the scheme of work knew what topics to take in and they want to exclude. What I'm trying to say is this. 
stick to the scheme of work. Are we on the same page now? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Hmm. This girl is really smart. Wow. Uh, this is uh, Evelyn's script. Yes. What? This is weird. She has never felt a question since I started working in this school as a teacher. As you can see, she failed number five. The same question I just said in class. So, the principal asked me to submit the questions after setting them. Yes, that is the status quo. I did submit four questions. But as the test was going on, I decided to add a random question, which is number five. As you can see, she failed it. I don't understand what you're trying to say. Mr. Oliver, I've noticed that Every time I ask them questions that is in their scheme of work, she seems to get it, you know, with ease. But when I ask them something that is not in their scheme of work, and it's something that is supposed to be easy, considering how smart she is, she doesn't get it. And even the questions she got this week, when I come back next week, of course, I'm supposed to ask them or teach them on a new topic. But when I decide to just ask her questions randomly from what was taught previously the other week, she seems not to have any idea what I'm saying. Hey, Sophia, with all this your explanation, I still cannot lay hold on anything. I don't understand anything from it. Simply put, Mr. Oliver, I think the principal shows her the scheme of work beforehand and she cramps every single topic. It's not a bad idea. It's not bad, but... Mr. Oliver, I think the principal shows her the tests and the exam questions also. I have no idea about that. That is why I'm telling you. Um, Sophia, that's it's a grave accusation. And I will appreciate it. I will appreciate it if you don't allow any ear to hear about it. And as for me, I will pretend that this conversation never happened. So please. Sip your mouth.
Your test scores are in. Honestly, I am not impressed. Only one person got all the answers. Anyway. Deeply sad over this outcome. And I think I'll just have to do something fast about this. This is not impressive at all. Is not a though. <laughs> what? So how is what going? Work is going fine. How is that village? What's the name again? I'm sure I've told you the name a million times, yet you keep forgetting. I'm sorry. It's just that I've had a lot to think about other than that your village. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't. I don't know. I, I think so. I think it is. I don't know. Who could be knocking at your door by this time of the night? You know what? Let me just call you back, okay? Give me a minute. I'll call you back. <laughs> Who is it? Lucas. Lucas. Good evening. Hi, what are you doing here at this time of the night? I came to return this. Um, I wanted to give you a school, but you left it. Yes, thank you too. Yeah, I forgot to tell you in school. Congratulations. Thanks. I was wondering if there is another novel. Definitely. You know what? I'll look for it and get it across to you tomorrow in school. Okay? Good night. Good night, Lucas. So make it kill me now, now. No love, I can't breathe. But I only you can save me. So 
Hello? <laughs> Guess what I have for you today? We have over 80 billion books in the world. So how am I supposed to guess from that? You're right. Okay, okay, fine. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. The gods are not to blame. Correct again. I've heard so much about this book. And now you have an opportunity to read it. Thanks to someone amazing. <laughs> You are truly amazing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I'll, I'll just be back in. All right. Thank you. Huh? Sure. Bye. Miss Sophie. <laughs> Everywhere choke. Look what you've done to me. Sex is teacher. Tease me, tease me. Oh, uh, you bring the best of me. That's the man. Thank you. I was wondering when you will give the students their English scripts. English scripts? Yes. Oh, I did that yesterday. Oh, maybe my daughter forgot to mention it to me. <laughs> I guess so too. Yes. All right, you go ahead, okay? It's okay, mom. No problem. <laughs> Yes. Where is your English script? It's in my bag. Your bag? Why didn't you show it to me? I failed to move. You did what? Why? She changed the question. She, she added another question to it. And I did not read that one. That woman, she added another question. And she, she, that auntie, I don't know. She, she's very wicked. Why would she add another question? I, I didn't read that one. That's why I failed the one. She did? So, I've taught on what to do and I'll be giving you students a makeup test. My makeup test? We don't need it. <laughs> Evelyn. Who are you to tell me what I can or cannot do? Yes, Asa. I'm just saying. Evening. Prepare for your makeup test. We'll be having it tomorrow. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We need it, we need it to go see Now, hey, you face your front. Hey, face your front. Oh, wow. uh, thank you for walking me home. The pleasure is mine. My bag. Yes, uh, you guys. For the test tomorrow, I hope you do better and get a higher score, okay? I will try. No, 
you will do your best. But by your subject now, you will never I fail by your subject. Lucas. Oh, I'm sorry. It's your subject. You won't fold your hands on what you feel on the subject. Better. Would you like anything? Water, perhaps? Of course, I want water, but don't. So that I'll have reason to come back. <laughs> I'll come back for my water when I won't. And this? I'm a logo now. Don't worry, I'll fix some water. Lucas. Bye, Sophie. Bye, Lucas. I can't breathe, but not only you can save me. So make you save me now, now. Thank God for the butterfly. You know they bite like a fly. Hey, what you've done to oh, me? Pretty teacher. I had no plan on leaving the big contest to my sister. Yes, ma. I'm actually headed there right now. Are you didn't think to run it by me before then? Ma? Yes. Don't you know that whatever you want to do in the school, you have to tell me first. But Ma, the students failed the, the, the previous one. I just thought it was necessary to give... What you think is unnecessary? Completely unnecessary. I should be in the know of everything you want to do in this school because you don't have such rights to do anything you want to do. But, Ma... Yes? You, you, you don't expect me to use a test where only two students scored above average. And whose fault is that? Who set the questions? I did, ma. But I also ran it by you. And you endorsed it. Ma, please. I'm going to the class right now to give them their makeup test. Thank you. Excuse me, ma. Are you okay? Hello? Lucas? I'm fine. How was the test? Fine. What's bothering you? Nothing, I'm fine. Is it the principal because I saw both of you? Oh, that, 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 that was nothing like Everything is fine. Are you sure? I'm sure. Listen, if the principal is stressing you, just tell me. I swear I will deal with her. Lucas, are you serious or joking? I'm joking and I'm serious at the same time. If the principal stress you or lie, she will collect. Anybody that stresses you, woto woto. You see this school, Hazuzo, if they stress you, I will shut it down, I swear. Uh -huh, now. Look, there's no one is stressing, okay? Everything is fine. That's mad now. Sexy teacher, you bring the best of me. Oh, pretty teacher, pretty teacher.
Hey, babe. Hey, how are you? I'm not fine. What's the problem? Are you okay? It has something to do with school. I think my principal has been showing the test and exam questions to her daughter. Well, she's just been a mother, babe. What are you saying? What about the other students who actually read for these exams? You don't even understand what I, what I mean. This girl has always gotten perfect scores. And looking at her script right now, she's not even, she's not getting average. Calm down, our babe, calm down. Look, this is government work. Not your father's work, you should know. What are you even saying, Jide? Why do you always respond this way? <laughs> what else am I supposed to say? Tell me. The same the way you're saying it. Well, I don't know what you want me to say. Anything else apart from what you just said. You know what, Jide? I'm sleepy. I, I'll talk to you some other time. Yes? Please, come in. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. How may I help you? I brought in the script from the test. Okay. As you can see, their performance is better than the previous one. Except that some people are at a disadvantage. Evelyn scored 16 in the previous test. Here she got a 5. Only God knows how many other students that have the same issue. Ma, Evelyn is the only one who has a decline in her performance. Every other student did better than the previous one, except for Lucas, who maintained the highest. Lucas? Same Lucas? Yes, ma, he got the highest score. Fat Dons? Ma. Lucas has been fooling every one of us. He is not as dull as you think. In fact, he isn't even dull at all. You you can you, you can see that from his script. He's right there. Exactly. On the other hand, Evelyn is the one fooling us. And with all due respect, should I say you both? Shut up. Ma. I know you've been showing Evelyn the test and exam questions beforehand. How dare you? How dare you make such accusations about me? Do you have any proof? Do you have any proof to your claim, do you? By the time they are done with their exams, I will have enough proof to back up all my claims. Get out! Get out! 
Take all this. Get out of this place. Excuse me. Evelyn, you scored five over twenty. Five? What is it? Mom, I tried to read, but there were so many things to read at the time, and at the end, I couldn't cover up where, where she reset the questions from. Let's hope your father doesn't say this. You know how he is. Mom, please, can you get her not to use this? I don't think so. That girl is stubborn. Even Lucas scored more than you did. About that, Mom. Lucas has been doing well in classes now. He has been answering questions correctly now at this. I'm surprised. That's what she told me. But, Mom, don't you think he's suspicious? Hmm. Lucas, far better than Lucas. I don't know. It's suspicious. What are you thinking? Mom, Miss Sophia shows up and Lucas started doing well in her subject. And even more, I always see them together. I think there is something going on between them. I should always give you questions before I exam. You see them together? A whole lot, Mom. They even have a special place in this school. I always see them during break time. If you want, I'll go and show you during break time. I'll go and, I'll go and show you where they always be. Oh. Come in. Full liver. What is this rumor I hear about a student and a copper? Rumor and student. I have no idea, man. that I am so much into you and uh, I want us to go to the next step more than just being colleagues. I want us to do something serious. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Oliver, I, 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 I'm in a relationship. I have a boyfriend. You do? Of course. Uh, and it's a very serious one. It's alright. If that'll be all, I'd love to go back to class. Hmm? Why not? Mm -hmm. 
bring the best of me. Hello. Someone finally decided to peek. What's really the problem? You know, I don't know what exactly to do. That I've not done for you, Sophia. I do every single thing a lover is supposed to do. What else would you have me do? Do you know all I do for you? Even those who I have no idea of. I even spend thousands of money to make sure you're posted to the, to the east. Yeah, not sent to the north as what did you just say i don't like the way you make big deal about everything i i do i'm trying to let gd that's not what i just said i'm asking you what you just said well i i did you influence my posting gd i had to or you would have sent you would have sent you to the north with this insecurity i couldn't Wow. Just wow, Chide. Sophia. Sophia. What of the one where they pretend? You don't ask to take the confirm, they enter one and they let us come, they come and say to the inspector. Ah, ah. Hey, hey. Sexy teacher. Lucas. Sexy teacher, what are you doing here all by yourself? I should be asking you that. What are you doing here? I came to chill with my friends. Look at them. Hi. Okay. So you normally come here? No, I basically just discovered this place tonight. And I wanted to just cool off. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you're fine? Are you with someone? I'm fine, Lucas. And I'm not with anyone. Would you like anything? No, I'm fine. I don't do alcohol. You're mm. saying you're fine, but you're not lively. I need to see those smiles, man. Because I'm fine. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm talking about. Look at your beautiful tits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. But come on, it's late. You shouldn't be outside at this time. I came to chill the first like I said. Oh, I see. I hope you're still reading though. I need you to do something for me. What? I want you to promise me that you start dressing properly to school from now on. I promise to change <laughs> henceforth. 
Let me trust you. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, why did you agree to serve here? Um, uh, fate. Yes, uh, I'm a believer in fate. <laughs> I just think when some things are destined to happen, you know, it just happen. I just go with the flow. That's it. I like the way you think. <laughs> now let me tell you. Mm. You are serving here because of me. Yes. Fate brought you here. And all thanks to Fate. Lucas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <coughs> Mr. Oliver. Mm. It's like I interrupted something. <laughs> Mr. Oliver, not at all. Um, Lucas, you can go home. I will take it off from here. Uh, Mr. Oliver, I I was just going home. I can go myself. And I want to escort you home. No, it's fine. I can go myself. I insist that I will escort you Mr. home. Mr. Oliver, I'm a grown-up. I can go home. I insist. Mr. Oliver, Mr. Oliver, you heard her loud and clear. She wants to go home by herself. Are you forcing her? Um, Lucas, just, it's okay, go home. Okay, I'm fine. You should. Yes, I'm fine. Hmm? Good night. Hey, 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 hey. See, I was the one who made the offer first. You turn it down, and that boy, that boy made an offer and he accepted it. Why? Don't be ridiculous, Mr. Oliver. I am ridiculous. Hmm? I would not be ridiculous. Mr. Oliver, good night. Hey, <laughs> if you move, if you move. I insist that I'll be the one to walk you home. Hey! 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 I think we should report him to the U.S. No, no, there's no need for that. I mean, you've given him enough beating. That's fine. And how are we sure he won't come up for you? He won't. He won't. That idiot needs to be punished properly. You have punished him enough. Did you see the, did you see the beatings? That's enough for anyone. Trust me, he's not gonna. It's not ever going to bother me again. He might be up to something. Maybe revenge. You never can tell. Yes. He won't. It's fine. Anyways, even if he does, he will have me to contend with. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, you're welcome, okay? Thanks. I know where But not only you can kill me. Good night. Good night. So you me. Thank you. Like I said, a flyer. Look what you've done to me, pretty teacher. Thank God for the butterfly. You know they find like a set of flyer. You have to know. What happened to your face? <clears throat> I fell down, man. Oh, I'm so sorry. That must be a hard fall. It was, man. Sorry about that, but. Is there any problem? No, there's no problem. Apart from uh, your suspicions. You know, you were suspecting that uh, a copper was having, having an affair with a student, Lucas and the copper. I have confirmed it to the truth. Uh, how sure are you? I am very sure, man. In fact, I saw them with my eyes kissing and romancing each other. Do you have an evidence of this? Uh, no, uh, no. Okay. 
Okay. Um, don't mention this to anyone. Okay? Don't let her know. Don't let anybody know about it. Don't let her know. Don't let anybody know about it. We will deal with her when the time comes, okay? But gather more evidence for me. Yes, All right? Yes, Keep it here, okay? Thank you very much. Right. Thank you. Hey! She's a scary Hey! Hey! doing here? School dismissed over an hour ago. I have been waiting for you. I want to walk you home. That's not necessary. I can go home myself. No. No one knows what that madman is up to. Lucas, he isn't up to anything. Trust me, that punch you gave him is enough. Besides, he's seen me over a billion times today. He didn't even talk to me. Neither did he even look my way. To me, you walking home alone is a big risk. So please, let me walk you home. Lucas. I insist. But I'm not, uh, I know where I look. But not only you can kill me. So make it kill me now, now. No, no. Let's go. I can't breathe but only you can save me. So make you save me now, now. Thank God for the butterfly. You know they bite like a fish a fly. Look what you've done to me. Pretty teacher. Thank God for the butterfly. Look us. You know they bite like a fish a fly. Good evening. Good evening. Can I come? Please. Come in. Thank you. You're welcome. I bought you food. How could you even afford this? I have a side hustle. Which is? I'm robbery. What? Lucas? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Remember I told you I won a competition? So? I had 10 million in my bank account. I just decided to start spending it since I met you. No, my father kept it for me all this time. Since I met you, I decided to collect my money and start spending it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Thank you. Now that you know the money I used to buy this one is not stolen. Thank you. Did I help you? Thank you. Okay, as you wish. Thank you.
Uh, th so, this is not right. This just just go. Go go so, go look at just me. So, look what you so, done to me. So, Pretty teacher. Good night. Thank so, God so, for the butterfly. You know they bite like a sassafras. Look what you done to me. Sexy teacher. Tease me, tease me. Oh, uh, you bring the best of me. Hmm, class. This is weird. We are having English and the teacher is not here. She never misses class. Hmm. It's true. She never misses her class. What's happening? Maybe we should ask the husband. Husband? Yes, Lucas. Who yes. said that? Yeah. Report. I said, make you come here, you be mad. Oh, yeah. Move. move. I said, move. I said, move. You don't make a move. I'm off here. You think so I send your mama? Divide yourself. See you. I don't send anybody. I don't even send myself. I know they use me. If I finish dealing with you, go call your mama. I don't send her to the principal. My father is still dealing with her. You have my marriage. How can I go stand there the head the end of water with my name? From today, I hereby ban you from talking anytime I'm around. Once I'm around, we don't talk. Do you hear me so? Did you hear me? Come here, see if I, if I, if I stand up. Okay. Come on, 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 You were not in school today. No, I wasn't. Uh, I had so much to do today. Okay. I said let me come and check on you and make sure you're fine. Lucas. Sexy teacher. I think you should stop coming here. What? Uh, yes. Um, 
except of course it's an emergency other than that we should both meet in school okay is that what you want of course I will respect that. <coughs> so be it. Pretty teacher, thank God for the butterfly. You know they bite like a sister fly. Look what you've done to me, sexy teacher. Tease me, tease me. Oh, uh, you bring the best of me.
just excuse me. Please come. That won't be necessary. I can walk home myself. Thank you. At least hear me out. Look, I'm gonna. Look, Obvious we're not working out, Jide. We want different things. Besides, we're not even alike one bit. But that's all, so We've never been alike. We've, not, we've, we've always loved each other. Our differences have never been a problem. Now I know better. It's 9 p.m., Sophie, for crying out loud. Who is that? It's none of your business. Not anymore. At least. <laughs> What do you want? Okay. Sorry, I said let me talk. Thank you. You could have waited to tomorrow to do that. Sorry about that. Forgive me. I just I wanted to see you talk to Thank you. Good luck to us. Look what you've done 
Everywhere good, not going to open soon. You know. And I tell you, when you go to chat, everywhere good, everywhere good. You go to open soon, you know. everywhere no good with that. Yes, no. Mm -hmm. I want to go to chat everywhere good, where you never clear about it. Now, do good in young. No, no, that's everywhere no good finish. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Only you, yeah, man. Yes, ma'am. Now, do good in young. Okay. I went by your house and your father told me you were here at the bar and that it's your favorite spot. Yes, it is. It's been a week, Lucas, and you've not been in school. I had to do something to get your attention. Now you have my attention. What do you want to talk about? I love you. 
Yes. I love you and I mean every one of it. Stop. I can't get my mind off you. Stop. Stop, please. I have never felt like this for anyone. Lucas, can you stop? I love you, Miss Sophie. I'm not having this conversation with you right now. If you don't feel the same way, you can say it and trust me, I, will, I won't bother you again. Lucas, can you snap out of it? I'm not having this conversation with you. I don't know what to I think I should just leave. Alright. Let me escort you. It's fine, I can go myself. Uh, come on, uh, come on. As much as you told me now, it's not a problem, okay? Well, you came out because of me. Just as you and a total stranger are trying to make sure you get him safe. You yes, escort this now. And trust me, we'll never have this conversation with you. You know they bite like a sister fly Look what you've done to me, sex a teacher. What happened? Oh Billy, what happened? They call us in Papa no way. Settle in, settle in. You, collect the assignment and bring it to the office. Lucas, what is it? My father is dead. You want me. You want me. I killed him. No. No, no. Don't don't say that. You didn't. Listen. That night I, I found you at the bar. He told me how proud he was of you. He was truly proud to be your father. You didn't kill him. I'm sure if it was within his power, he wouldn't leave you this early. It's okay, you don't have to cry. It's okay. It's okay. Why are you 
came here. How? Was it because of this you've been acting up? This thing? He? Please don't bring him into this. He has nothing to do with it. Wow. So I spent those long, hectic hours trying to surprise you. Unfortunately, I was the one that got to be surprised. Don't be ridiculous. It's just two hours away from the city. Besides, who asked you to surprise me? If you had done this some months back, then it would have mattered. But right now, no. Oh my God. Sophia. I think you understand what you're doing. I think you understand what you're doing. Have a good day. I'm sorry. No, no. It's, it's nothing to do with you. You don't have to be sorry. The, the truth... Listen, I've been fighting this a while now. Perhaps it's not right, but... Lucas, I love you. I'm in love with you. Pretty teacher, thank God for the butterfly. You know they bite like a sister fly. Look what you've done to me, sexy teacher. Lucas, tease me, tease me. Oh, uh, you bring the best of me. You are aware that examination is fast approaching. So I would want you to turn in your exam papers. I would want you to turn in your exam questions for endorsement. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'll have to turn down that offer. It wasn't an offer. It is an order. I'm afraid I can't submit my questions to you and risk you showing it to Evelyn. Please, just allow me some time, at least after this exam, to see if you also have the perfect score as she usually does. If she does that, then that's fine. I'm ready to face any query or disciplinary measures you would like to take against me. But if she doesn't, then yourself and Evelyn will have to apologize to the entire school and that will be the proof you always wanted. How dare you? Who do you think you are? Some saint? You sit here and you judge me when you do what? Oh, sure, I know. I'm aware of what is going on between you and a student in this school. Can you deny that? Can you? Look at this. You will have to explain this to the king and local government inspector. And my dear, what do you think will happen by the time it gets out? I hope you know what you're doing. Do you? Get out of my office. Get out! I want those questions by next week. 
else. Get out. Get out. Oliver. Principal. Principal. I overheard you two talking. Is this why you made me go through the stress of getting an evidence? So as to make her submit the questions of the exam to your daughter. I'll be a fool if that's your really reason. I will show the picture to the king and the local government inspector. This will serve as a warning to anyone in this school or wherever who is trying to go against me. Okay? But you don't worry. I'll deal with her when the time comes. You may go. Are you okay? No. What's going on? So I think I actually wanted to make a change here. What happened? It's the principal. She's been showing the test and exam questions to her daughter evening. And that's why she's always come first. I wanted to withhold my, my questions and not submit it this time. So I, I can compare her previous performances to this time around. But I can't do that anymore. Why? Because... They, they have a picture of both of us where we were kissing. Listen, they can't use that against you, okay? I was the one who kissed you. It's all my fault. Stop. No, I will go and tell them, listen, it's not your fault. I forced you into it. No, just... Stop, Lucas. Um, I know what I'll do. I'll just give her the question papers. That way there will be peace. Let's get it over and done with. Listen, I know our principal too well. She has a dubious character. Even if you give her those quotes, she will definitely use those pictures against you. It's all my fault. Stop saying that. It's not your fault. I'm the teacher here. It's not your fault. It's all my fault. I know what I'm saying. <sighs> it's not your fault. You know what? I will drop out of school. What? Yes. You will do no such thing. Then what? You made the right decision. I... 
I know that even after I've given you this, you are still going to show the picture to the king and our local government inspector. But please, Ma, I want to beg you. Just leave Lucas out of all of this. You know, he's only beginning to indicate any interest in learning. Keep his identity hidden, Ma. Please, I'm begging. Let me bear all the punishment. Whatever you want to do, do it to me. Just leave him out of it, please. Do you know you were smart? Yes. You're smart. And that's what has landed you into this mess you are in. 20 years. For 20 years, I have been in this school and I did this as exactly the way I wanted to. Parents who wanted their children to pass exams came to me for negotiations. Of course. And they paid the exact amount I asked them to. So when my daughter was admitted into this school, I did the same for her. I mean, which parents wouldn't do that. Especially when you are at the helm of their face. You have the power to do so, so why wouldn't I? But Ma, I, I truly don't mean to disrespect you. You, you don't help me now at all. Shut up. I'm not done yet. For 20 years, I did this in the school. Nobody found out. No teacher suspected. And you, little girl, just few months that you came into this. Can you think you can humiliate me? But that was never my intention. Shut up! Quiet. Stay talking. By the time I'm done with you, you will ever regret coming into this school and coming into this village. You want to humiliate me? You want to spoil all that I have done for 20 years? You think you can do that? I will so deal with you. You want to spoil things for me? Please watch. I, I was about coming to your palace tomorrow. Oh, please sit down. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Uh, your Highness, I, there's only the few coming here. I was even planning to come and see you in the palace tomorrow. Well, I decided to come uh, uninvited. Uh, she must be Sophie. Yes. And to what do I owe this visit? I came because of Lucas. He came to the palace yesterday and um, made a report. But I didn't believe him. I hung out there for quite some time now and I heard everything. How could you, Mrs. Annie? Oh. Well, you, Your Majesty. Did Lucas tell you his unwholesome affair with the copper? Did he tell you that? He's a man. He's a student. He's 26. I got married at the age of 25. I was a king at the age of 28. He's a man. Oh, he's a student. Mrs. Annie. I will forgive the fact that you are trying to drift from the subject matter, but it's fine. We will get back to that in a jiffy. Did I hear you say he's having a wholesome relationship with a girl? He's a man. Like I said, Lucas is old enough to make decisions for himself. Well, um, I'm not trying to support what Lucas and Sophia did because he's against uh, moral conduct. 
Sophia is a teacher, locals are students. That's the only level I am faulting them. But then again, this is a matter of the heart. We are helpless in the face of these things. And I'm a man of love. But I am not faulting them even more. Like I said, Lucas is not a child. Yeah, he even confided in me that he has been the one making advances to the cop. Oh, he, 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 he can say anything. This life is very simple. We are the ones making life very difficult and even more difficult than it's supposed to be. Right? Well, uh, this is my verdict. I have told Lucas not to step his foot into this school until he's seen a way. At least um, it will show to others that um, we do not tolerate uh, such kind of relationship between um, our teacher and his students. Yes, that's, that's, that's kind of you. I mean, that's nice of you, sir. Sophia. Your Majesty. Henceforth, you are going to teach sex education in four schools. In one month. Um, Your Majesty, thank you so very much uh, uh, for your verdict. I... Mrs. Annie, Your Majesty. I think it is high time you step down for someone else to try. I will write to the board and um, you will be transferred to another school where you will function in the capacity of uh, a classroom teacher. This is my verdict. And I expect that this matter die here in the room. You're so beautiful 